would suppose what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try. I count twenty brushes. Ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe Rosie doesn't like to be brushed. After all, that shaggy coat of hers is much thicker than your hair. <laughs> Definitely thicker than mine. No, dogs love to be brushed. Right, Rosie? Rosie? Rosie, come back! What's the matter? Why did you run away? A customer! And what can we do for you? I have a Black History Month conference, but the strap on my sandal keeps coming off. <laughs> Not to worry. I'll stop that strap from flapping. I'll take these to the fix-it box. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Must be in Africa. Oh, oh. oh look, what cute little animals. They're waking up. Shine, everyone. It's time to shake and bake. Mm, that sun feels good. Shaking and baking. There's not enough room in our roof. Hmm. And the grass is taller than me, so I won't get much sunshine if I stand on the ground. I'm the smallest in my family. Well, I'll just have to make you taller. Climb aboard. Really? Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. What 
What's wrong? Sorry, my hat isn't tough enough for meerkat toenails. Oh, sorry. I will be taller up on that tree. Sister to make room for you. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh. You can stand in the shade and catch a cold, Tula, or you can speak up for yourself. But they never listen to me. Oh. 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 How do you know unless you try? Oh. This will warm you up. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Franny. I'll help you practice speaking up for yourself. Just pretend I'm a meerkat, too. Okay. Um, Franny Meerkat, I'm cold. And I, um, want to, um... Shake and bake? Yes. Franny Meerkat, can you make room for me, please? So I can shake and bake, too. How does that sound? Sounds fantastic. Are you ready? Ooh. Ready? Tula? You are right, Franny. All I had to do was speak up. Hey, Franny, shake and bake with us. I have to go now. My grandpa will be wondering where I am. Okay, bye, Franny. Thanks for all your help. Bye, Tula. Bye, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> A desert pebble. I better put this in my treasure box. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoe box. Seeking? No. 
Tula couldn't shake and bake because there wasn't room on her roof. I told her all she had to do was speak up for herself. But Rosie can tell me how ouchy it is to get brushed, so I have to help her. Ah, uh, combs aren't as ouchy as brushes. I promise this won't hurt one bit. <laughs> See? Isn't that better? Now you're talking! <laughs> Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> Grandpa, I'm here! Look, Franny. I found my old farm set in the attic. Moo! I got your goat, Grandpa. You sure did, Franny. Oh, just look at your shoes. <laughs> I stepped in a mud puddle, Grandpa. But don't worry, I wiped my shoes on the mat when I came in. But the tops of your shoes are still muddy. You need to clean them. I'll do it later, Grandpa. Later, the mud will dry and your shoes will be harder to clean, Franny. Piffle. A customer. And what can we do for you? My hiking boots have hiked so far, they're coming apart at the seams. They sure have. If you wore them like this, they'd fall off your feet. Can you fix them so that I can roam the mighty mountains? I'll restitch them so you can hit the trail by Tuesday. Franny, can you put these in the fix-it box, please? Sure, Grandpa. It's time for these boots to take a hike. <laughs> Hi, where will my feet take me today? Mountains! Look at that view! Hurry up, Fritz! I'm coming, Peter! Hi, I'm Franny. Oh, hi, I'm Fritz. Magnificent mountains, aren't they? These are the Alps of Switzerland. I bet you're tired from hiking. I'm not tired. I just got here. Well, you'll be tired soon. You'd better sit down and rest your feet. I think Fritz is the one who's tired. <sighs> Much better. The Alps look so friendly. I'm going to say hello to them. Hello! Hello! Huh? What was that? That was your echo. My echo? That's the sound of your voice bouncing off the mountains. I know I can bounce. I didn't know my voice could bounce, too. I've got an echo, too. Listen to this. That's yodeling. Yodeling. I like that word. yo lay hoo yo lay hoo That's how the Swiss people called to each other in the mountains, before there were telephones. Fritz! Hurry up! That's my older brother, Peter. I'm coming! Carry it for you. Wunderbar, Franny. Let's go. Slow down, Franny. <sighs> Wait for me. Fritz, you'd better put up your tent. I'll help you, Fritz. 
I'll do it later. Let's go and play in that meadow, Franny. Fritz, you should put your backpack in a safe place. I'll do it later, Peter. Isn't the meadow wunderbar? It's fantastic. More cheese, Franny? No, thanks. But I'll have more trail mix. Yummy! Should we go back and set up your tent now? There's lots of time to do it later. That cloud looks like a piece of cheese. Mm. It's got holes in it. That one looks like... a goat. Hey! He has my backpack! Th give that backpack back! Gear, Fritz. My rain gear? Oh, I forgot to pack it. I was going to, but then I thought I'd do, do it, it later. later. Well, I remember to pack my rain gear. You can borrow it. Thanks. There. Let's get inside until the storm is over. This hot chocolate is wonderful. Thanks, Peter. You're welcome. You look like you could do with some warming up. Next time, I'm going to set up my tent first and play later. And don't forget to put your backpack where a goat won't get it. It stopped raining. Do you want to go back to the meadow, Franny? No, thanks. I have to do something back home, and I don't want to do it later. Goodbye, Franny. Goodbye, Fritz. Goodbye, Peter. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> A bell! Like the one on the goat who took Fritz's pack. Another treasure for my shoebox. Grandpa, can I have a rag and a shoe brush? Sure, Franny. I have them right here. I'm going to clean my shoes right away. 
Fritz didn't put up his tent right away, and a goat stole his backpack. Who is Fritz? He's a boy from Switzerland. He wanted to play in the meadow. But then a storm came along, and we had to put up his tent in the rain. Uh-oh. Did you get soaking wet? No, we borrowed Peter's rain gear. But it would have been easier to put up the tent before it rained. Some jobs you should do right away. That's why I'm going to clean my shoes now. They'll be harder to clean when the mud dries. All done. Ah, there are the shiny shoes I'm used to seeing on my Franny's feet. Now we can play with your farm. I hope that goat hasn't stolen anyone's backpack. <laughs> me too. Where will my feet take me tomorrow?